channel so you can see my hair is like really dirty and grimy that's because I'm going to the salon today to get a haircut and color and you guys are coming along with me So the place that I'm doing my hair cut and color today is called Sheer Insight. It's a salon at Kolaba. It's on Kolaba Causeway and it's my go-to place to get anything hair related done. So first let me just introduce you to my hair stylist. This is Rihana Patel. She's the owner and the head stylist at Sheer Insight Salon. Today I gave her full liberty to do whatever to my hair and she decided that she's going to cut my hair in graduated layers. So here you can see that she has just decided what length she wants to go with with the first layer. This is because she says my face is wide and the first shorter layer will contour the face correctly. So a year back I decided I'm going to cut my hair short and I cut it to a length that was above my shoulder. Even after 5 months of having it, I really did not enjoy the haircut. So I just let my hair grow out for almost a year which is terrible. Do not do it. But I let it grow out for really long and even to cut it short in the front is a really big step for me right now because I really did not enjoy my last haircut. To have healthy hair, I think it's really important that you get the scissors to touch your hair at least every 4 months. And here I'm just leaving my hair into Rihanna's hands literally and she's just deciding what is best to do with my hair. So after cutting it shorter in the front, she also went and continued the layers on at the back. I didn't specifically tell her that I did not want to cut off my length but I'm sure she understood from the way that I reacted to going a little bit shorter. So she went ahead and did not chop off my length but just my unhealthy split ends. We finished a major chunk of my haircut and then went straight into colour and after that we went back into my haircut to just finish it all off. So we used the balayage colouring technique on my hair. We used two colours from the Wella Cholestron Perfect range and both the colour names are what you see on the screen right now. So we let the crown be quite dark as compared to the rest of the hair because we did not want it to look very unnatural. We went in with a little bit of brown and soft blonde highlights. Now because I'm an Indian brown girl and I have really dark black hair, the soft blonde doesn't really look soft blonde and very unnatural so I really like that. So the colour just sat in my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes after which we went ahead and washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner and it's really important we use the right kind of conditioner and shampoo for coloured hair especially because we don't want it to look too brassy very quickly. Next we went ahead with a few finishing snips just so we could complete the haircut. And immediately I knew this was like the perfect hair cut and color for me because in our makeup terms this looked like the perfect no hair color hair color even though it's quite evident it looked really natural on me once we dried it all off. Next we went ahead and put some curls into my hair with a straightening iron. This is one of my most favorite ways to put curls into my hair. It looks super natural and very beachy. And obviously I was documenting all of this on Snapchat, probably with the bunny filter. So if you aren't following me there, what are you doing? Follow me quickly. My Snapchat user ID is Tina Tengra. So here you can see that he's just taking my hair and wrapping it around the iron and pulling it straight down. That way it easily gets curled. So I haven't sped this clip up so you guys can see if you want to attempt this on your hair how he's actually doing it. Here we're just finishing off the front parts of my hair and we're doing the curls much looser here than we are in the back because we're then going to loosen them up further. After that we put some texturizing spray into my hair to just remove that very silky and done up look and give it a more beachy vibe and I absolutely love how the cut and color finally turned out. I will link the salo down below so don't forget to check them out. Okay guys, so I'm done with my hair appointment and I'm super happy. She cut it like nice and short in the front. It's not like really short from the bottom and the bottom is much lighter than the top. 
we've done balayage and we've got a few highlights as well so that's it for my video today i hope you guys like my hair transformation if you guys like such vlog videos then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to start post notifications that way you never miss any updates from me also follow me on my social medias at the rate we make up life on instagram and twitter and at the rate tina tenger on snapchat i posted a lot of snaps of this hair transformation on my snapchat don't forget to follow me there see you next time bye